Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a switch to your stack without rebooting the entire stack that can cause a network outage. Here's the simple topology I am going to use for this demo. All the switches I am using here are 3750 switches. So I have a radial switch on the top here. And right now I do have just one access switch in the stack. So let me go to my party session and I show you what I have right now here. So this is the radial switch and this is the access switch. Show switch. You can see I do have just one access switch here and here I do have just one switch in the radial stack also. If you look at the port channel, show ether channel summary, I do have two ports going to this access switch. So port one and two, it has formed a port channel that's called port channel 10. And show ether channel summary here, that has a port channel, this is called a port channel one. I have ports one, three joined in the port channel. So let me show you that in my stack here. So this is the stack. This is my radial switch and this is the access switch in the stack. You see here, this is the second switch. I'm going to uh, join this stack. So think about you just bring in the switch here and install this in the stack and have not yet connected to the stack yet. So right now I'm going to connect this one to the stack. Before even I do that, I'm going to power on this switch, make sure everything is correct on this switch. And then only I'm going to plug in my stacking cable. These are my stacking cable to this uh, switch. So it will join to the stack. So let me power on this switch. So I'm going to, so let me come a little closer here. I'm going to I'm going to power on this switch. The power is here. Okay, the switch is powering on now and I'm going to move the console cable to check everything correct on the switch. So right now the second switch is booting. So I'm going to just wait for the second switch to boot up. So I'm going to come here and open up my console cable, console connection here. So I go here, load, and you see it uh, goes to serial, open. So if you see here, I have three screen running here. So one is the radial, one is the access switch. So I have connected to both of these switches using SSH. If you see here, I do have I do have this cable connected to my management VLAN. That's how I have established SSH connection to this one and this access switch is here. So it has uh, booted up here. Uh, so let me check the software version I have on this existing access switch. Show version. And then let's go down and check the version I have here. I do have C3750 IP base K9M. So I need to have exactly the same version here, software version and the software image. This is 12.255 SC1, SC12. And let me go here and check show version 
and uh, check the software version I have here, which is also the same version. I already have done this one. It's the 12.255 SE12, and it's also the same IP base image. And also what you have to do is check the priority because when you have a show switch and the first switch priority must be the highest 15, that should be the master. And this switch priority should be 14, show switch and um, it's 14. So I pulled out this switch from uh, some other stack, so switch one still be provisioned here. So let me go here, Con T, no switch one, no switch one provision that will erase that switch from the config. Now look at so switch now switch two is the master so let me see show int status so i don't want to see any port here like fa101 so i do not so i should not see those ports in switch one that has been removed from the uh, provisioning status so everything looks good here on this uh, new second switch. So what I have to do is, so I'm going to join this switch to the stack. So what I will be doing on the stack is, so the switch is already been powered on. I'm going to plug in the stacking cable and watch that switch come up on the switch stack here. So I'm going to go to my switch and I'm going to plug in my stacking cable here. And let me move this a little closer just so you can see how I do that. So you actually have to cross this cable. So this is port one uh, from uh, this port one, port two from the switch. Port one goes to port two in this switch stack so okay like that and then make sure you tie it properly here also what you can do is another best practice is so i will lean towards that one uh, also you can basically connect this second switch, connect the second switch to the stack, and then you can power it on. So that, that way also, you can bring up this switch into the stack and join into the stack. So probably, you know, you should do that one than me booting the switch already uh, and connecting the stacking cable. But I don't think that's going to make any difference here okay so as i expected if you see here this switch is rebooting again to join the stack so that's always uh, good to know you know how things works so it is coming up and let me look at uh, my access switch here show switch and still have just one switch and i'm going to wait a little bit so the switch uh, i guess it has rebooted here it's at the final stage here all right so now i can go here into the stack and see so switch and you see here the master never changed and the second switch joined the stack properly with the proper priority so let me, so it says it is ready. So in here also, you can see uh, the switch name changed from, it was like a switch before, now it's changed to the 
change the host name to match the switch stack. So I'm going to close this console cable here. And then I'm going to go to this switch and do some more configuration on this switch. So right now, so switch and make sure everything looks good in here and go to look at the port status, show in, show in status. And then if you see here, The ports on the first switch already have been configured and disabled in the past. And uh, if you see here, uh, switch two now come up with uh, no config on it and with no VLAN. So what you have to do is just go to show int, show run int gig one zero, not gig FA101 and take this config. And uh, so you can uh, put everything on VLAN 10 if needed, or you can keep it all on VLAN 1 as it is. So you can just, if you want to keep it VLAN 1, don't uh, copy the access VLAN config and just uh, do this one. So it has already copied this text and go to conf, conf t interface range geek 201 to 48. So why it is not, uh, uh, not, it's not a geek, so it's FA. So that's why it's telling it's wrong. FA 1248 and then just copy the config. So switch port, mode access, and then so it will copy all the config, this config to all these port ranges. So you don't have to configure each port individually. So show int status now, show int, and then you can see those are on VLAN. 10 disabled, these are on VLAN 1 uh, disabled. So that part is complete. So another thing you have to do is, if you look at show ether channel summary, and both ports are connected to port uh, switch one. So one zero, uh, gig 101 and 103. Right now you have two switches. So think about if you lose one switch in the stack, that is the first switch in the stack. This stack will lose the connectivity to the radial because both of these port on the port channel are members of port one. So it is always a best practice. You move one of the port to the second switch. So just look at the show run int gig one zero. 101, so it says description primary uplink to the radial. So if you look at the switch here, this is the primary uplink, this is the secondary uplink. The best practice is, so you move the secondary uplink to the second switch to 10, gig 103, and what will happen is right now the secondary here, primer here. It's always a best practice you move this one to this side so it's aligned and look nice. So I'm going to do that move right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste this configuration. So I'm going to copy this 102, that's the secondary, uh, so no, 10103. One to 20, 201, right? Uh, not 203. So I go to conf t int gig 203, and then I'm going to copy everything here, and uh, I'm going to 
paste it here. So now, if you look at here, you will have show ether channel summary and uh, switch port 203 has joined the port channel. But you have not moved the physical link to this port. So make sure you move this physical link from here to this one and make sure that link comes up completely on the port channel before even you touch the primary because if this doesn't uh, come up properly and you try to move this one to the other port, basically people will lose the network connecti connectivity because secondary also had problem and the primary is you now pulled out the primary. So this switch stack will completely lose connectivity to the upstream uh, radial and the core switch. So make sure this comes up properly on the network. So let me go to the switch here, try show ether channel summary. Now you see 10 gig 101 and 203 came up properly. And now what you have to do is you have to move this one to 103. So before you move this one, what you have to do is default this interface. So you move the config, a clean config from gig 101. So let me T default, default interface gig 103. So it now got defaulted and go to and try do run int gig 101. Uh, so do show run int gig 101. So you have the uh, primary uplink config and then go to the 103 again, uh, int gig 103, and then copy everything from here and paste it here. And now look at show ether channel summary, and you still have 101 there, but you have not physically moved yet. So let me physically move this one and then just going to move it here. It's going to come up pretty quick. Yep, it's came up. All right, now check here, show it the channel summary. You see here 103 and 203 came up properly. So what you have to do is, Go and default this interface. Conf T gig one zero the default interface gig one zero one. Right. And show it a channel summary. Now you see all the unwanted port, the down port are removed from the ether channel, only 103 and 203 are the members of the port channel. And you see it looks nice here, so you can do the cable management, everything properly. And so let me look at the switch here, show switch, and you see everything looks good here, and then I think um, the radial, I, it was inactive. So let me go back again and connect to my radial. Cisco, enable, show it the channel summary and uh, the port channel, everything looks good. 
Uh, hope uh, this video is helpful for you. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the notification. Thank you so much. Bye.